Number 1. Yukon Beringia Interpretive Center. This interesting little museum is located right by the Whitehorse Airport on the Alpen Highway. While it is a fairly small museum, allow yourself up to two hours to visit, as they have interesting short videos and movies that they show on a continuing basis in their theater. This museum holds the history of the area during the existence of the land bridge known as Beringia and showcases Ice Age animals and the first known humans in the area. Number 2. McBride Museum. The McBride Museum is also located in Whitehorse, and you can find it downtown, right along the edge of the Yukon River. This museum contains an amazing amount of Yukon historic items and information about the First Nations of the area, along with wildlife exhibits. Recently expanded, allow up to two hours to get you through the entire collection. This museum has been voted the Yukon's favorite museum. Number 3. S.A.S. Klondike National Historic Site. Along the banks of the Yukon River in Whitehorse you can spot the historic S.S. Klondike. This sternwheeler was the largest of a fleet in a time when the river was the main highway of the region. It has been restored to its former splendor and you can explore on your own with a self-guided tour or join a guided tour group. Number 4. Yukon Transportation Museum. Located right next to the Beringia Museum and the Whitehorse Airport on the Alcan Highway, the first thing you will notice about this museum is the airplane outside. This historic plane is a DC-3 aircraft, CFCPY, with her original 1950s vintage Canadian Pacific Airlines colors and has been made into a wind vane. The museum itself holds the history of how the gold rush miners travelers. Number 5. Miles Canyon. Just minutes from downtown Whitehorse is the beautiful Miles Canyon. This spectacular setting showcases the Yukon River with its steep banks and rushing waters. Along with a lookout point on the road in from the highway, there is also a suspension bridge from the main parking area to the other side of the river, where you can enjoy a variety of hikes. The bridge itself was built in 1922 and is a thrill in itself, even if you choose not to hike the area. Number 6. Yukon Wildlife Preserve. Located 30 minutes outside of Whitehorse, the Yukon Wildlife Preserve provides an opportunity for visitors to see the animals of the territory without having to search for them in the wild. There is a 5 km loop walk that will take you through a variety of large areas to see animals such as moose, muskox, lynx, caribou, and more. Don't worry if you can't walk the 5 km. Number 7. Tikini Hot Springs. These hot springs are over 100 years old and have become a popular attraction for visitors and locals alike. With the mineral-rich waters and comfortable temperatures, these hot springs are open year-round and even provide opportunities to relax in the waters while watching for the northern lights. Located about 28 kilometers from Whitehorse. Number 8. Seeing the Northern Lights. This is more of an activity than a specific place, but one of the reasons that people want to visit the Yukon is to witness the spectacular Aurora Borealis. They are best seen between late August and mid-April. It is hard to predict when they are best seen, so there are never guarantees, but booking a tour with an experienced company may help your chances. Number 9. Emerald Lake. Located just a short distance down the South Klondike Highway from Whitehorse, Emerald Lake is a popular stop for visitors to see the cool green highlights in the lake waters. There is a lookout point which provides information on what causes the lake to be so vibrantly colored. In late August and September. Number 10. Carcross Desert. Just before the small town of Carcross on the South Klondike Highway is the world's smallest desert. This amazing spot is actually a series of sand dunes measuring about one square mile and is home to some unusual varieties of plants. Take a walk over the dunes to experience being in a desert in the north of Canada or read the interesting information signs to learn more about the area. Be careful though. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.